In this video tutorial, we're going to look at the shopping cart feature. So this will allow you to enable your end readers to place a product order directly from within the publication. You can only do so if you already have an e-commerce solution established and set up on your website. So first of all, we select the shopping cart icon from the toolbar here. We select an area on a page where we would like the buy option to appear by clicking and dragging. And we can place it either as a hotspot or a button on the page. It really does depend on the design of your publication here. So all we need to do is take the URL for the product page that's relevant for this particular item on our website. And underneath that, we need the URL for the basket or the shopping cart into which we'd like to place our item so that they can then complete the purchase transaction. If you take a look at the advanced options here, you can add rollover text, which we can present to the reader, or you can leave it blank. You can then select how the shopping cart could appear, so whether this is full screen, the custom size, or you could even launch in a new window. OK, now let's look at the end user experience. So we're in the magazine now, just as the reader would see, and this is where we add the shopping cart feature. So when the reader clicks this, they are presented with the item from the website, but still in the magazine experience. The end reader can then view the pricing and any additional information and add to the basket. The reader can then continue to browse through the catalogue, adding items wherever the shopping feature was added. They can then view and check out when ready by clicking on the cart icon. So this is a great feature to allow your readers to shop from your online store without leaving your digital publication.